What's up, gang? It's Chris Angel coming at you for another episode of Marketing for the Rest of Us. And it is uh, at the time of this recording, Super Bowl Sunday, and it is uh, which of which my family did not participate. We uh, played Cash Flow 101 and uh, hung out and did our own thing because that's how we do it. We are unconventional. That's what we do. So um, I want to throw this in here because I had a, a participant slash client reach out to me today who um, had sort of like been MIA, if you will, missing in action a little bit here and there. And they texted me and we rescheduled um, some calls, some one-on-one calls. And um, there was this phrase at the end of the the message that said, you know, does, you know, can we get, can we reschedule, blah, blah, blah. And does this jive with you? As if it were like a, how I took it was, does this jive with you? Like, uh, is it okay that I'm asking to reschedule uh, or does this offend you? Are you, are you mad at me for this? And I don't know if that's what she meant or not, but, uh, but it got me thinking like, there's a lot of times where we can go dark in marketing. We can go off the map. We fall off the wagon, right? Insert whatever cliche or metaphor you want to use here for for not being consistent and not showing up. Well, that's easy to do. I just it is. It's easy to do. Um, life happens. Life gets busy, um, and so sometimes marketing doesn't feel like the most important thing to do. Uh, by the way, it's not just marketing. There's other stuff in business where there are things that are on your list to do and you just haven't done them. And they've been on your list maybe for a long time. You're like, man, I, I really should do that. Now, when it's just you by yourself, it doesn't, I mean, it sort of doesn't matter in the sense of like, you're not embarrassed about it other than maybe in your head, you're like, oh, I should probably do that. But when other people get involved, in other words, you have a coach or you have teammates or something, now you're like, now you feel bad because you didn't show up and they've kind of been like, where are you? And that can add to the shame monster, if you will, because now you feel like you're letting other people down. It's one thing to let yourself down, which by the way, is probably the bigger issue, right? Uh, But but we don't feel as bad about letting ourselves down as we do about letting other people down. Okay, I get it. And sometimes when that happens in feeling bad for ourselves and shaming ourselves, what we do is we're like, well, crap, like I'm this far in, like I, I'm not good for anything or, or I, um, I, you know, look, it, we just blame ourselves and so then we take ourselves out of the game. So here's my, uh, here's my encouragement to you, right? Um, you have to, well, first of all, let's just talk about the mindset of that. You have to start to just get over that. You just got to get over that. Like you can embrace the fact that we don't always show up. Okay, fine. And you can embrace the fact that you didn't show up. Okay, fine. And then let's just move on, right? Like ultimately, it's not about um, you letting me down or you letting someone else down. It's ultimately just about what do you want? I don't care. You didn't show up, fine. I don't care. My question for you is what do you want? And if you tell me what it is you want, then I'm like, okay, great. Well, let's go do that. Let's go play that game, right? I'm just glad you showed back up. So now let's go play the game. We don't need to spend a lot of time in the, I'm sorry I didn't show up and uh, I was a bad person to not show up or whatever, it, right? It, all there is to do now is let's go. Like, let's go. So here's my question for you. What have you been wanting to do that you've been hiding out on? What have you? Where have you fallen off the wagon of the thing you've been intending to do? And rather than just kind of staying in the shadows about it, why don't you just dust yourself off <clears throat> And get clear about, re-presence yourself to what it is you really want, and let's go. Like, let's go. That's all there is to do. Let's go. Now, if you'd like help with your marketing, right? Because you've fallen off the wagon with your marketing. Or maybe you never started. Maybe you've been intending to get in the game of marketing, and you just haven't, you just haven't ever really fully gone all in. You haven't fully committed uh, to growing your business through marketing. Okay, well, okay, great. Dust it off and let's go. Let's go. And the best way to do that uh, that I've found right now is my six-week program, right? It's called the Groundswell Method Intensive. Six weeks. You and I and 25 others going to work on your marketing. And if you'd like to learn more about that program so that you can break through in your marketing, you can go to groundswellmethod.com. The link is in the text of this post. Groundswellmethod.com. Watch the free videos. And on the last page of the free videos is an application. Okay, fill out the application, it comes to me, and off we go, right? Off we go, let's go. Let's go do this, okay?
So, thanks for hanging out with me here tonight in this episode of Marketing for the Rest of Us, and you uh, get, getting back on the wagon.